What is LSD and what does it do? The effect is somewhat like looking through a microscope. You discover that there's an invisible world around you that you hadn't uh, known about before you did it. The same thing is true with a psychedelic drug. Uh, you're aware of processes that are going on inside your own brain. Commonly referred to as acid or Lucy, LSD is a substance that not only launched a cultural revolution, but now sits at the forefront of modern psychiatric research. But how did a drug associated with the 60s hippie culture become a potential breakthrough in treating mental illness? LSD originates from a parasitic fungus found on grasses and grains that can cause headaches, convulsions, gangrene, and hallucinations. In 1938, the Swiss chemist Albert Hoffman was creating new drugs from lysergic acid, a chemical compound found in the parasitic fungus. On his 25th try, Hoffman ended up making something called lysergic acid diethylamide, or LSD-25 for short. Fast forward to 1943, and Hoffman is still intrigued by this clear, odorless, and flavorless chemical. He began running tests in his lab and found himself experiencing, in his own words, a not unpleasant, intoxicated-like condition. Further intrigued by this chemical, Hoffman took an experimental dose of the drug on April 19th at 4.20 p.m., about 250 micrograms, more than double the 100 or so micrograms seen today as the ceiling dose for good drug effects. Apart from the psychoactive effects of the chemical, high doses of LSD are associated with adverse effects including exhaustion, increased heart rate, and paranoia. This was the world's very first acid trip. While under the influence, Hoffman attempted to bike home and called in some assistance as the drug's effects set in, birthing Bicycle Day, a commemorative holiday marking the intrepid trip. So what do we know about LSD's effect on the brain? LSD plays off the brain's serotonin and dopamine receptors, which are associated with memory, motivation, reward, learning, and others. When a user consumes LSD, it triggers hallucinations and a phenomenon similar to synesthesia, where your senses start blending together, giving color to numbers or flavors to names. While the recreational appeal is obvious, LSD's profound impact on perception caught the eye of researchers exploring its potential to treat mental health issues. Early studies hinted at LSD's therapeutic potential, showing promise in treating substance use disorders, anxiety, and depression. One of its most touching use cases perhaps came from renowned author Aldous Huxley, who, on his deathbed, asked his wife to dose him with LSD to transform his final moments into what his wife described as the most serene, the most beautiful death. LSD's mad dash from labs into the laps of recreational users with accompanying tales of drug-related violence and death ultimately led the U.S. to criminalize it and other psychedelics as the 1960s came to a close. This declaration throttled psychedelics research, which has seen a resurgence since the 1990s when experimental studies began on DMT and psilocybin. LSD remains classified as a Schedule I drug in the U.S., meaning it's believed to have a high likelihood of abuse and no proven medical applications, though scientists would beg to differ.